Hi, today I'll be reviewing this Intel Lab, spelled with I-N-T, without an E-L, Lab Magnetic Stir MS500. This does not include the heating element, so it just do the stirring, that's all it does. Okay, now let's open it up, let me show you. So inside is the power supply, this is um, 9 volt, 1 amp, so 9 watt hour you can uh, run it on a, I guess if you're outdoor, if you have a battery pack system, you can run this, no problem. So it's only 9 watt, right? So it's not too bad, 9 watt hour. Here we have the magnet stirrer, okay? Looks pretty nice, pretty light. It has one knob for controlling the speed here. At the back, you have that power uh, connector. And then of course, it comes with a very tiny <laughs> magnetic uh, I guess you can call it bar, okay, magnetic bar or stir. It's covered in plastic, the typical one, but this is very tiny, the size of a pill. I wish they have uh, given us a bit more than uh, just one, maybe two or three size of these type. By the way, it also comes with a manual, a one-page manual. Yeah, I don't really need to read it. Okay, so. Let me show you. I have a 50 mil beaker. I will pour in 20 mils of water, distilled water. Okay. Then I'm gonna get, you know, this is just a example to show you how well it's able to dissolve the sodium bicarbonate in the solution. So I'll take one spoonful. Well, that's a lot, right? Then I'll put this magnetic bar, it's a stir bar, inside. Ooh, there we go, and start spinning. There we go. I think this speed is pretty good. I could go faster, no problem, okay? Okay, so after a minute, let's see. Let's stop this for a minute. It's pretty good, it's still, I mean, there's still some of the sodium bicarbonate still in there, but I can keep going with this until it fully dissolves. If I know the solubility of the sodium bicarbonate, then I would know how much I put in into the solution so that I don't overwhelm the water and it probably won't dissolve at all, even if I continue on to um, stir it, okay? You have to know the uh, solubility of sodium bicarbonate in a certain amount of water, that's very important. Or any kind of uh, substance in water or other type of solvent. It's very important to note that. Otherwise, you can be stirring forever and it's still not dissolved. Now, of course, you can always heat this solution up and then eventually it will dissolve better. I would say this in instrument is pretty reliable. Like, I mean, the stirrer is doing a pretty good job, so I can go really fast. Yeah, and does a very good job, okay? Okay, so now I have a bigger beaker. Now, again, you know, this little pill, <laughs> this magnetic bar or pill is too small, but I think it does a job. Let me add more of the sodium bicarbonate. Okay, here we go, and let's see if, yeah, so even that tiny uh, bar or bit pill, magnetic bar, it worked pretty good. You can see that. Now, I would prefer a bigger one, uh, but the small one is not bad. It does a good job, and so here we go. It does a pretty good job for stirring your solution, so I would definitely recommend it. Now, I don't know how long this will last. But it seems like it's a well built. It has um, a metal plate on top and everything is made of plastic. And the control knob is pretty good, uh, very smooth. I can control it and it's in a very smooth increment. Like as you can see, if I continue on to roll it up, it goes faster and faster and faster. And you don't want to go too fast, but yeah. So you can see that it actually does a good job at um, mixing the solution. So definitely this is highly recommended if you ever want to mix your solution instead of like doing glass rod for stirring, but that just takes too much time. So that's why I ended up buying this magnetic stirrer. I thought, you know, saving myself some time to stirring the solution. While this thing is mixing, I'll be doing some other things and then it mixes completely. Then I can then use that solution for something, okay? So that's really the purpose of having a magnet stirrer. It saves you a lot of time. It allows you to speed up your mixture. So you wanna mix the solution really well, this is the way to do it. 
Now, ideally you might want to have heat element here as well, but I noticed that um, if you have a heat element with magnet stir, it usually doesn't last very long. Just having the magnet stir, I think this may last longer, the uh, machine itself. However, if you want to heat up your uh, solution, you might want to get one of those heat, heating elements it can put from top, and then that might be able to heat it, the, heat the solution. Okay, that might work as well, but yeah, but this is meant just for uh, mixing the solution. All right, so yes, I definitely recommend this magnet stir. It's well built. The, uh, the little bar that comes with it, the magnet bar, um, I wish they had a couple of them in there, a bigger one as well, but yeah, you know, for the price you're paying for this, I think it's not bad. Excellent.